Hey, how y'all doing out there in YouTube land? This is Stiletto and Juno coming at you from the Wild Wild West. There's my co-host. There's my co-host. She finally let me set up the table. <laughs> That's my girl. That's my girl. We got a very, very, very special one coming for you today. One that me, myself, I have been waiting for for a couple of years, people. It's been forever. It's been forever. I've been wanting this one ever since I first saw it about two years ago. And they said it was going to come out that year, and then it come out that year. Then they, they said that's, then they had it again at the shows that last year and the, or this year, and they said it was going to come out, and it's been forever. But anyway, let's get this party started. Doing the unboxing today. Well, this one, let me tell you where it's coming from. Y'all going to guess what it is as soon as I show you this. Midway. USA, Midway, USA. That's right, Midway, USA, people. All my viewers have been watching know what this is now. Doing the unboxing today is my newly modified original Recon 1, large Recon 1 that I purchased way back when, when, these very, when they, this is one of the first ones that came out. And they had a Cray, uh, not Cray X, but a, um, a Tough X, a Tough X finish, a black Tough X finish. That's where it became standard. And I removed that and I, it had a stone wash finish under that. And I carried it like that for a while. And then I damaged the blade a little bit. And then I ended up polishing it all the way out. All the internals, everything's polished in this one. Even the Snaggletooth cog ring. Rob sent it to me unfinished. He removed the original black finish. And then I polished it. For this knife. I told Rob I wanted to build this knife. And the Snaggletooth wave feature. I polished that too. Absolutely love this one, people. Absolutely love this one. It's an Oz, it's an Oz 8 version. But yeah, I've been waiting for this one forever, people. Let's get busy with it. Let's get busy with it. This this video is not about large size cold steel knives. No, it's not. It's about the megas. The megas. It's about the megas. It's all about the megas today. Limited edition cold steel. Anytime, anywhere. That's what I'm talking about. Barcode. And yes, mayhem. Mayhem. This is a limited edition one I told you guys about recently. Let's check it out. Oh, it's all sealed up. Okay. Pull this one back out. All right. Here we go, people. Oh, I have been waiting for you for so long. I have been waiting for you for so long. And you're finally here. We got all the stuff on the back of the box. Let's check out this, what the warranty information says. Warranty. We stand behind our products 100%. We subject them to the, the highest standards in the industry and strive to make each as perfect as possible. We warrant that this product is free of defects in workmanship and materials. This warranty does not cover normal wear and tear damage caused by 
misuse, lack of normal maintenance or disassembly. Remember, anything can break or fail if subject to su sufficient abuse. So please do not use this product inappropriately. Please use caution when handling cold steel products. Knives are extremely sharp. Mayhem Launch Edition. The Cold Steel Mayhem Folder is the latest addition to Cold Steel's line of larger size folding knives. It features new Atlas Lock, which has two pins and a sliding spine in, in stock, a sliding spine. In style and appearance, the Atlas, Atlas Lock resembles the traditional block back, but it is far more reliable and easier to use. The wide, thick blade is designed for efficiency and will assist in taking on even the toughest cutting challenges you encounter. Blade length, 6 inches. Overall length, 13 and a, and a third. No, 13 and 1 fifth. 13 and 1 fifth inches long. Blade steel, S35VN. Weight, 13.1 ounces. Blade thickness, 3.8 millimeters. That's what they used to call 4 millimeters, people. I'm just letting you know that. So when you see 3.8 millimeters, it's not like they went down, down in thickness on the blade steels. They've always been 3.8 millimeters. Always the ones that they list as 4 millimeters. Cold steel has always done that. And the things that they list as being at 3.5 millimeters are usually like 3.3 millimeters. But anyway, blade thickness, 3.8 3.8 millimeters, handle length, seven and a half inches of G10, patent pending, baby. Okay, Juno, you got to get down, sweetie. You got to get down, kiddo. All right. That's my baby. That's my baby girl. Okay, let's get into this one, people. This one's been a long time waiting. Okay, got a pocket clip for the other side. It's in like a styrofoam. It's in a, a cardboard box with the styro, a styrofoam inner piece that's cut out to protect the knife. Very nicely packaged. It is heavy. Feels like it weighs about the same as it is like a um is a Raja. Let me set right here. Cold steel limited edition, big people. Limited edition. That's where that one goes. Now the circle is complete. The circle is complete. Or could there possibly be one more that we need to purchase? Because we want the Japanese AUS 10A version also. With the black with the black and gray G10 handles. So that might have to be the next one. I'll wait until the price comes down on that one. I'll wait until, the, until I see some real sales on it. This was a real sale for this one, people. $259.99. When I saw this price, I jumped on it. And I made a video for you guys, let you guys know about it. I jumped on it. What number are we? I don't know. Let me see. Get my magnifying glass. 535, people. Number 535. Wow, so if there's only 600, that means that there's, they may only have a few left. 535. Let me see if I can put this side. You guys can see it. Now you can see it like that. Okay. 
535. Look at that. That's my left hand. This is a beautiful knife, though. I don't know, people. I think this is worth 259 all day long. It's absolutely, the, the craftsmanship on it is top notch. They could have made this nicer in a custom knife shop. Let me stay in frame here. I'm sitting there looking at it. This is beautiful. Let's see how the action is. Look at that. Centers out perfectly. <coughs> Centers out perfectly, people. This is, a, this is, I would say, if you haven't done it yet, if these are still available, go get one. Go get one. Go get one. $259, I think this is a good deal at $259, people. And you know me, I'm a budget person. But I think for what you're getting here, this big, giant, thick, um, CPM S30 S35 VM blade. That's a that's a hunk of steel there. Looks like something a pirate pair carried. Black beard. Was it Captain Sparrow? Johnny Depp. <laughs> This is this 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 makes me think of pirates swatch buckling on the in the Caribbean seas. This is awesome. This is a this is a beautiful knife. It's beautiful. Let me see how easy it is to handle. Not bad. Feels like it needs a little lube. Let's lube it up a little bit. I'm not gonna take it apart. I'm just gonna drop with a couple of drops inside of it. It's got solid lockup, people. There's no movement anywhere in the lockup. Use a little bit of my Militech one. It's nice. The lockup's nice and solid. There's no movement at all in this. Very nice. Very nice. What's the balance like? Oh, look at the balance. Look at the balance, people. It's got perfect 50-50 balance. I love this one. Perfect 50-50 balance. Oh, yeah. This backspacer feels like it might be G10. I don't think it's an aluminum backspacer. I think it's probably something else. Let me put the magnet to it. The magnet sticking to the steel liners. No, it's not sticking to the the centerpiece. Okay. So the backspacer, I think, is probably G10. Also, I'm guessing. It's not. It's not a. Um, if it's not, it could. You know, it could be aluminum, but you know, I, I don't. It doesn't feel like aluminum to me. Let me see something that's aluminum. Now see, that feels cold when it touches my lip. This doesn't feel cold. So I don't know. I don't know. It could be warm for me holding it too, though. Absolutely love it, people. Absolutely love it. I definitely want to get the standard one now. 
I only need a couple of these though. Because this is not necessarily something that I would carry because it's on the heavy side. You know me, people. I love this one too. But this one, this one's a good example. They both weigh about the same. I think they're probably both very close in weight. The Raja, was it a Raja 2? Raja 2 and the, and the Mayhem. And they both have six inch blades. So they're both in the same size category too. Let's, let's get the scale out. Where's my scale? Thirteen point one ounces. Thirteen point one ounces. They weigh exactly the same. They're exactly the same weight. People. So if you've had, if you have one of these, you know what one of these will feel like in your hand. That's all I need to say then, because a lot of people got Rogers. That's a good, that's a good 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 uh, neck to play it up against in in, in a comparison. This is a beautiful knife, people. I'm gonna cut this one short because I wanna go hurry up and get this one out there, let you guys see it. But this knife is beautiful. It's very fidgety for a big knife. The grips feel excellent. I feel a little bit of something right here when, my, when this part of my hand rubs up against it. Now, I probably shouldn't be trying to grip it right there anyway. Maybe a little bit further back on the handle. The rear grip feels good too. So I'm gonna call this one part one. We're gonna call, we're gonna come back with part two and then we're gonna go over all of them and compare them all. But this is gonna be the first release right there. The mayhem. Peace out, Stiletto.